Hello you guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Ricky and I'm a competitive ballroom dancer. Uh, today I have a hairstyle tutorial for you guys. I want to put a disclaimer. Very first thing is that I am not a dance for hairstylist. My specialty is makeup, but a lot of you guys have been requesting a hair tutorial and I do do my own hair for some of the competitions. So I do have some experience, but this is going to be my first try to add of actually making a tutorial. Because I'm not a hairstylist, I don't have all the same techniques or use all the same things that they do. This is just what works for me right now and hopefully I can still improve my skills in the future. Feel free to ask any questions and let me know what you think of this look and comment down below and let's get started. All right, so the first thing you're going to want to do is just to brush your hair all the way through so it's nice and smooth before you start to do anything. Next, you're going to want to part your hair either in the middle or on the side. I just prefer a middle part, so that's what I did today. Next, taking the sharp end of my comb and going a few inches into my part, I'm just going to drag the comb down the side of my head to create a sectioned off piece for what is going to be rolled later on. Next, I'm just gonna put that into a quick ponytail just so I can use my mirror to see how my part is looking. This is where you're gonna want to adjust it to make it as clean as you want. For now, this is just what I have. Then I'm gonna put that into ponytail again, but actually comb it this time so I can see the part at all times. Once you're done with this, you're gonna want to just secure your hair in the front of your head so it's out of your way, and you're gonna wanna do the exact same thing on the other side. After you're done with the second side, take both pieces of the sectioned off hair down and brush through them, and then using a mirror, check how they're looking, make sure that they're as even as possible, and if they're not, you can always adjust it from here. Now put the two sectioned pieces back up out of the way because now we're going to focus on the ponytail. The first thing we're going to be using is this Tresemme Extra Hold Mousse. This is the level 4 and I'm going to take a pretty hefty amount in my hands and just start rubbing this all over the base of my scalp where we're going to be combining all the hair into the ponytail. And you want to make sure to get this pretty well all throughout the hair and also underneath. I'm just going to use a regular hairband for this because that's what I'm used to, but you can also use one of these specialty hairbands that has hooks on both sides to do this part as well. Now taking my fine tooth comb, I'm just going to comb all my hair back from where the mousse is and I'm going to smooth it into a ponytail and when I put the ponytail in, it's very important that you do it as tight as possible or else the next step is not going to work. Now I'm going to go in with some gel. This is the Got To Be Glued Hair Gel and it literally looks and acts like a glue for your hair. So it's pretty intense. Usually I use the Tresemme Extra Firm Control Hair Gel. It's a lot more liquidy and easier to work with, but you're going to take a pretty good amount and start lathering it into your hair in a very even layer and use your hands to make sure it really gets pressed into your hair. Now using my fine tooth comb, this is the Diane heat resistant pintail comb. I'm just going to start to brush back all the imperfections that I may have in my hair at the moment. After I've done this thoroughly, I'm going to use my hands to start to smooth over the base of my hair and I'm going to hold my ponytail very very tightly here and I'm going to remove the hairband that I just put in and I'm going to continue to use my hands to smooth over the base of my hair until I look in the mirror and I make sure it looks pretty smooth and then I'm going to re-put that ponytail back in again super super tight so we can move on to the next step. Now I'm going to go on with hairspray. My favorite hairspray to use is the Tresemme Extra Firm Control Hairspray that we can actually buy here in America. And I'm going to put a pretty good layer of that over the base of my hair. And I'm going to use a teasing brush. This is by the company Amped Up. And this is really going to smooth out my hair compared to my other comb. Now I'm going to focus just on the right section of my hair right now. And I'm going to 
push all the imperfections to the back where the ponytail is. I'm going to hold it and then I'm going to hair dry to make sure that it stays in place and then smooth it out with my hands once the hairspray is a little bit more dry. Then check in the mirror, make sure it's smooth and now I'm going to do the same thing on the middle section. You want to put a good amount of hairspray to make the hair flexible to work with, then comb back the imperfections, and then hold the imperfections to your ponytail so they're not loose, and start to hair dry. Once you feel that it's pretty much dried in place, you can let go of your ponytail and start to use your hand to smooth it over. And same thing we're going to do on the left side of my head. Hairspray first, comb through to make sure it's very, very smooth. Hold near the base of your ponytail and then you can start to hair dry and make sure it is very slick and stays in place. Now for the final ponytail, I'm going to be using rubber bands and I'm going to be using two of them and I always fold them over to make it like four rubber bands and to make sure they're very very tight when they go in my hair. Then I'm going to take out the ponytail that I have in and I'm going to do the same as before, use my hands to smooth out everything as much as possible and then I'm going to use my hand mirror and I'm going to check to make sure that it's exactly how I want it to be and then after this after you like it you're gonna go ahead you're gonna put in the rubber bands and you're gonna make sure that you do it as tight as possible and that your hands are holding your hair very very strongly so the hair does not run loose while you're trying to put the rubber bands in Now I'm using a different hairspray. This is the Tresemme Mega Firm Control Hairspray that is level 5 and I'm going to put a really generous amount all over my hair, like as you can see several layers. And after I'm done with that, I'm just going to use my hands and I'm really going to press the hairspray in so it soaks everything. And the reason why I'm using this level 5 hairspray rather than the hairspray I did earlier is because it's really going to hold and freeze my hair a lot better than the level 4 hairspray. Next, I'm just going to plug in my crimper to allow it a little bit of time to heat up. And then I'm going to use my hair dryer to go over everything that we just sprayed. And I'm very lightly going to use my hand just to make sure everything is slick and smooth exactly how we want it. And it's very important to hair dry so you lock this in. So while you're doing the rest of your hairstyle, it doesn't move. This is what mine looks like. It's definitely not perfect, but like I said, I'm not a hairstylist, so this is the best I could do on this day. Now after you take down your sectioned off hair and brush through it, I'm going to section the left side of my hair with this clip and I'm going to start to crimp the other side. So very one small thin section at a time. I'm going to start at the top and I'm just going to crimp my hair from the base all the way to the end of my hair over and over and over again until I complete the whole right side. Gently comb through your hair when you're done and by the power of editing, both sides are complete. Next, I'm going to go back to my level 4 hairspray and I'm very gently just going to spray into my hair, at, basically at the root of my hair and I'm going to be pulling my hair back now with the comb and hair drying it in the direction I'm going to want to make my roll. So I'm definitely going to make sure that this is away from my face and moving back so by the time we make the roll we're not going to be exposing the part that we have on the side of our head and when we do the roll it's going to be covering that whole part. If you're in a time crunch you can definitely skip this step but as you can see from one side to the other it's definitely going to help your hair naturally go in the direction that you want it to. Now to do the roll I'm going to take a small section at the front of my hair and I'm going to split it into two. I'm going to put the back section down and make sure it's very flat and take the front section and fold it over the back section. Then I'm going to hairspray to keep it in place and keep smoothing out the bottom part and I'm going to use the hair dryer just quickly to kind of blow it a little bit to keep it in place. Then I'm going to take another section from the front, 
put the section you were just holding down, flatten it a bit, and hairspray the new front section again. Make sure you always are holding it tight and going backwards towards the ponytail and not holding it out to the side. After you hairspray a little bit, you're going to want to do the same thing. Hair dry it a little bit more to just quickly keep it in place while you're moving with the next piece. And I'm just going to repeat this process over and over again until I make it to the base of my ponytail. Now that you've twisted all the hair, I'm just going to take a small pin and I'm going to secure the loose hair into my ponytail and you want to make sure that all the pins you put in are trying to go into the rubber band so that it has something to hold on to rather than just a random part of your head where it could slip out. Since we didn't use so much spray while we were doing the roll, now is a time where you're going to want to go in and perfect and fix any of the loose hairs or baby hairs that could be poking out so I just use hairspray I use my fingers to smooth everything over and then hair dry while using my fingers to keep everything going in the direction of where I want it to go now so far this is what my right side looks like before I went to go to the other side I put in this hairnet but eventually I ended up taking it out and to make sure I don't get any of the hair mixed in with the sectioned off piece I just put a hairband around it now I'm going to do the exact same process as I did on the right side, so I'm just going to let this part play through and you can see how I do it. finished the left side and now we're going to start working on the bun. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take my hairnet and I'm going to just very gently pin it up because I'm going to start to tease my hair and I don't want the hairnet to be in the way. I'm going to take my hairspray again and just going through basically all of my hair just spraying and teasing with my comb and then spraying and teasing with my comb again and you want to make sure you get thoroughly through all of your hair and not just one section or else your bun is still going to be pretty heavy. My hair is pretty thick and heavy as well as long so it definitely can be pretty hard to manage on competition days sometimes but as long as you keep spraying and keep teasing your hair will get much easier to work with. Lastly you're going to want to smooth over the top section that's going to show while it's in the bun. In this tutorial I think I tried to make this bun 15 to 20 times and my problem was always that my hair was way too long to fit in the hairnet. So to combat that the first thing that I did is that I used just a regular hairband and I tied the ends of my ponytail together completely so that no ends would be sticking out when creating the bun. Next, I took another hairband, but this time it was a rubber band, and I folded those ends into the next section of hair by rolling it just slightly so the ends were completely covered by my hair, and I took the hairband and just made another little ball of hair out of that. Now I wanted to check how big my bun would be if I kept it like this, but when I rolled it under, obviously you can see my bun would still be way too long. So I wanted to see what it would be like if I rolled it one more time and I tried that and I thought this would be a pretty good length. So after I rolled it for the final time, I encased my hair completely by itself as you can see me doing here and I took another rubber band to make one last little ball of hair to put underneath the bun. 
Now I just comb through the top part of my ponytail because this is the part that is going to be seen once the bun is done and you want to make it as smooth as possible. Now I'm taking two hair nets because two hair nets is always safer than one and these hair nets actually match the color of my hair and I secured it with a pin on the right side of my ponytail and now on the left side of my ponytail. And now that I've finally made it short enough, my hair will actually fit all the way through the hairnet and I'm going to take the right and the left sides of the hairnet, combine them underneath and secure it one last time at the bottom of my ponytail so the hairnet is completely encasing my hair. Now it's time to fold the last section of hair underneath and start playing with the shape of your bun and make sure that you check in the mirror first that you like how it's looking. Then you're going to want to secure the bottom first. I think I used four to six long pins to secure the bottom and once the bottom is holding itself then you can work on the sides to make the shape nicer. So after I secured the bottom, as you can see, it is a little bit flat and I wanted to manipulate the shape a little bit. So I was pressing on it, kind of squeezing it to make sure that it got in a little bit more of a round shape. Now the last step is very easy, is just to secure the sides and you're going to want to use long pins that go all the way to the ponytail and you want to make sure you try to get them into the rubber bands so your bun is very secure and no matter what, it's not going to come out during the competition. Another way to help this is to always spray your bun after all over the top, the bottom, and the sides and then go over with a hair dryer to make it super firm. I didn't use that much in the tutorial because I was just going to take a shower after this, but if it was for a comp, I would use a lot more hairspray. Then it's just final touches with the spray and the hair dryer and you're complete. I really hope you enjoyed this hair tutorial. Please let me know what you thought in the comments down below and what I should do next. If you want to see how I did this makeup, I will put the link in my bio as soon as it is out. So if you click in the description, there should be a link to this video and you can see how I did this makeup. Besides that, we are done with this video. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!